Well, scientists may have found a way, at least in animal models, to make hair grow back in droves. What that means to you is this. They pulled 200 hairs, or plucked 200 hairs in a specific pattern, so to say, and what came back was about 450 to 1300 hairs. All right, let's go right into the research. Because it worked in animal models, maybe eventually it could work in human models. In the research titled, Researchers find pattern to pluck hair to regenerate growth. In the citation title, as I have to say, so you can look it up, organ level quorum sensing directs regeneration in hair stem cell populations published in this journal of cell, April 9th, 2015. Now that's exactly what happened. They found out when they just plucked 200 hairs, pluck meaning pull out, 200 hairs in a specific pattern that the body responded by producing even more hair. Again, keep in mind this was an animal model. In some cases, up to 1,300 extra hairs, or 1,300 hairs, in response to pulling out just 200 hairs. That's an incredible return, especially when you're thinking about a healthy head of hair. So, let's get into the research and see exactly what happened. Researchers initially, well, let's back that up. Let's look at this chart. You see the circle? All right, in the circle itself that you currently see, that dark circle with all the dark lines, is the area where they pulled 200 hairs. You see how thick the hair is out of the area they pulled the 200 hairs? That's how it responded, and that's what intrigued the scientists. All right, so this process is called quorum sensing. They pull a hair out, and basically this trauma occurs, and then the body responds by overkilling and hair production. Good for you. So, researchers did this. They found out when they plucked hairs outside of a six millimeter range, or farther than six millimeters apart, when they plucked these 200 hairs, and don't ask me how they came up with 200, when they plucked the 200 hairs, nothing happened. Just a bunch of plucked hairs. But here was the trick. When they plucked the 200 hairs in a three to five millimeter circle, that was it. Then the body responded by taking that three to five millimeter circle where they pulled the 200 hairs by producing up to 450 to 1300 extra hairs. So the body tried to compensate, going, well, if you're going to pull hair there, well, guess what? I'm going to make you work twice as hard. I'm going to make you, I'm going to produce even more hair so you can't pull it all out. That's what happened, at least in animal models. What does it mean for the future? It means eventually, hopefully, instead of plucking hairs out in three to five millimeter circles all over your head, uh, as tedious as that may sound, including excruciatingly painful, maybe eventually they may come up a way to create that microtrauma effect that causes the, or mimics that quorum sensing or triggers that quorum sensing. And therefore, you can end up with a whole head of extremely thick hair without even having to pluck one. Hopefully the future brings that, but if you have to pluck one, that's not so bad either. Again, Ralph Trichiano, signing off. Quorum sensing, 200 hairs, pluck three to five millimeters uh, circle, response, lots of extra hair. Thank you.